So, well, yeah, I guess, um, what did I say? I was, I was interested in the theme of military because, um, first of all, Canada was involved in Afghanistan, so I was watching that on the news, and my response actually started um, around that time. And I decided I wanted to paint um, Canadian military people. My personal connection was, um, I have an uncle who used to be a police officer in Britain. So when I met him, and he told me all his stories about his being in the uniform and being a palace guard and going to training and all that. I felt I wanted to document something like that when I came back to Canada. So and living in Victoria to, with the Squimalt base, I felt that would be my connection. Even though he's in the police, it's still the forces. So I felt I'll try that. So I started off with um, paintings from imagination first. And then I realized I was just imagining too much and I had to get the real, the voice of the real people. So I started Look out, look through the newspaper and watch TV and all that, and try and connect with people through the reporters. Very often, I would. One man I contacted through the um, one of the report newspapers, CBC reporter, through someone else, and then one was through one of the local papers. And I would write to them and ask if the person in the photo would like a, a portrait. <laughs> then, they, if they said yes, well, they would send me pictures. I'll say, send me a photo of yourself and maybe a little bit about your background and who you are and all. So that's how it started. And then now I connect with them through email, some of them Facebook too, because I want to still be connected to the person I'm painting and getting a sense of who they are. And some of them also, the other group of people who um, have helped me a lot are friends. So one of my friends' father is he's in one of the paintings over there. And um, one is a friend of a friend, and one of them is a model. This man is a, one of our Victoria models, Keith. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> there he is, <laughs> over there. Anyway, this was him when he was young in 1970s, in, uh, based on a photo he had from Cyprus. It was a little Polaroid photograph. So I had to enlarge it and imagine what he could have, kind of based on what I know, and recreate his face, make him look like an 18-year-old. So that was it, that. And then this one is the same guy over there, and he's in the back on the other side. He was in Afghanistan, and um, he's one of the people I connected with. And um, yeah, so that's about it. To me, the, I guess to me the idea was looking at the humanity of these people. Um, because the civilians, um, you see them as they go out to war and they're very strong and they do all their work. But we don't, many, unless you know them personally, you don't see the human side. And so that's what I'm looking at. That inspiration for that came to me from a British painter, a woman who painted soldiers during the Crimean War in the 1850s. Uh, she was called Elizabeth. Butler Thompson, and she painted the Crimea, the British soldiers in the Crimea as men, real people. So they were just doing their regular things, and they were heroic, but not in the sense of, um, they were just the ordinary guys, like privates and corporals and those people. So she was one of the first people to do that. When I saw her paintings, I thought, oh, I wonder if I can try to get some inspiration from her, her work. So that's another so that's another source of my inspiration. So, um, well, um, I think it's it's probably ongoing to some extent because when I get interested in a theme, I think there's many new stories that can come out of this. Um, I don't know what they are, but um, I, am, I do have a number of paintings of some of these people in my studio right now, and I haven't finished, so what I could get in the show is what is here. And this is an in progress, yeah. So this man is still in, to be painted. There's a few others, new ideas. I also want to look at um, some more expressive, like my reaction to images of war. Um, I actually grew up in Ghana at once. I lived in Ghana at certain times where we lived through many um, coups, coup d'etats, military juntas. And so um, maybe those are some of the ideas that can come up in the future. I don't know. So, so I'm just going with it. At this point, it's the portraits, and then I'll see where it goes from there. But it's not over. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.